now in this lesson let's make up a quick exam question okay that you may see on an exam paper uh, we are solving for x in a quadratic e equation right so just bear with me I'm doing these things out of my head okay so let's say we had 2x squared minus x yes minus 6 and no, let's make it a bit more interesting, okay? Uh, let's say we move that, and I'm going to just, let's get rid of that, okay? So we have 2x square, 2x squared minus x, and that is equal to 6. Yes, I like that. Now, basically, when you look at this, quadratic equation you know it's a quadratic because the highest power of the variable again is 2 okay an equation the highest power of the variable is 2 it's a quadratic not because it may not look like something you are used to so basically once you realize it's a quadratic you must want you must equate it to 0 okay so we are we're going to have to bring over our 6 first so we have 2x squared minus x and I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides so minus 6 is equal to 6 minus 6 now 6 minus 6 obviously will leave us with a 0 so in its general form we have 2x squared minus x minus 6 and that is equal to 0 now here we have our quadratic in its general form this is what we want okay so now let's just quickly identify our a b and c before we get into it okay so a is equal to 2 b is equal to the coefficient here remember we would have a 1 in front of that okay so b is really negative 1 and or c is equal to the constant which is negative 6 now if we're solving by using our quadratic equation let's just make a note of our equation here our equation is x is equal to minus b plus or minus let me make that b properly okay so minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a okay cool now all right let's just get some space here so that we have some space to work with okay guys uh, let me just pull up this a bit okay good let's leave it right here okay yes now basically what we have here we're just going to be substituting values now, okay? So x is equal to minus, remember there's a negative sign in front of the b, okay? So I have to put back my negative sign. However, b is a negative one. So I'm going to open my bracket and I'm going to put in the value of b here inside the bracket, which is a negative one, close bracket. Now plus or minus the square root of b square, b is what b was we had a negative one so we're going to put that in a bracket and square it okay minus four and a we have a value of a to be two okay and then c now times c and the value of c is negative six okay guys now let me just extend this cool and all of this that we have here is over 2 times and what is a a is in this case 2 so 2 times 2 so, okay good so from here on in we're going to say negative 1 we have a negative 1 in front of this bracket so this simply means that we want the opposite of what is inside the bracket okay what is inside the bracket we have a negative 1 here so I'm going to need a positive 1 plus or minus the square root okay negative one square is negative one times negative one which will give us a positive one negative four times a positive two will give us a negative eight and a negative eight times a negative six a negative and a negative will give us a positive and eight times six is 48 okay Cool. and remember now that is all over 
two twos we have a four there cool let me pull up this now a bit so that we can have a little space to work with down here okay guys so all we're going to be doing now we're just gonna be simplifying this okay and it's it's really that easy so we're going to say x is equal to 1 plus or minus notice I'm just bringing down these things okay and I'm taking the square sorry sorry about that I'm taking the square root of 1 plus 48 I would have 49 okay and that is all over 4 cool now what I'm saying here I'm saying x is equal to 1 okay this one plus or minus and we know that the square root of 49 is 7 because 7 7 is 49 okay so I have a 7 here and that is all over 4 okay cool now since we have gotten rid of remember now once we have simplified and work it down and we get rid of our square root sign and we have our plus and minus now we're going to split that term now okay so let me just pull it up a little bit so we can have a little space let me go over a bit so we can have a little space to work with down here okay so basically here now what we have is what we have left from this is x is equal to 1 and I'm going to use my positive sign over here plus 7 and that is all over 4 cool or put my or x is equal to x is equal to 1 and I'm going to put my negative sign now minus 7 and that is all over 4 cool now x is equal to 1 plus 7 we know that 1 plus 7 is 8 so I'm going to have x is equal to 8 over 4 cool and we know that 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 and here now we're going to have 1 minus 7 will give us x is equal to change my color I'm going to have x is equal to negative 6 over 4 which can be simplified to 2 into 4 goes 2 times and 2 into 6 goes 3 times so basically and we have a negative up here so a negative divided by a positive will give us a negative and we have simplified this fraction to 3 over 2 and those are our answers okay guys it's it's really that easy all right cool uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on our videos okay and if you just in case you have any questions or comments feel free to post them so that we can answer them and clear them up all right cool bye bye